The Philadelphia Eagles have added more depth at the linebacker spot, signing Paul Warlow to a one-year deal. So spent last season in Detroit, first four years in Atlanta. Actually had 100-plus tackles his first two years in the league, 142 during his sophomore campaign. But as we know, tackling kind of an overrated statistic. So here's the deal with him. He's got a high football IQ. He knows where to go. He's got instincts, but he's limited athletically. So while he'll have the instincts, he has a high football IQ. Does he have the speed to finish? He doesn't all the time. Also in coverage, uh, kind of the same deal. Since he's kind of limited athletically, if you're, if you're a good route runner or, or if, you know, you're kind of a twitchy uh, sort of tight end, he's not going to be able to stop you. So uh, that, that's kind of the deal with him. That's like a, a, a small little scouting report on, on Paul Warlow. But to have him as a depth piece is fine. You're not asking him to be a starter. So you, you still got Michael Kendricks, Jordan Hicks, when he returns from his injury. And, and obviously Nigel Bradham, who you extended earlier this offseason. So when you pair those three together with depth pieces such as Corey Nelson, and now you got Warlow, well, the linebacker spot's kind of kind of okay right now at the moment. Uh, we'll see if the Eagles draft somebody. Uh, Brennan and I have been doing a couple film studies on, on some guys, so if you guys want to, check those out. We did Rashawn Evans yesterday, Leighton Van Der Esch last week, Josie Jewell also. Uh, who, who else did we do? We did somebody else yesterday. Oh, uh, the kid from Texas, Malik Jefferson. So we've done four linebackers. We, we plan on doing more film rooms uh, later this week. I, I think we're going to do some tomorrow. So Justin Reed and uh, Jesse Bates, two safeties, we're going to do tomorrow. Uh, maybe we'll do Shaquem Griffin as well. Uh, we'll see about that. But Paul Warlow signs with the Eagles, one-year deal. So add some depth, and that's the news for today. Adrian Fetke, out.